In this video, we're going to look at when a function is undefined. So we'll start out with this first one. We know that there's a few cases when functions are undefined, such as if you have a negative square root, that's going to cause a problem, uh, or if you have a zero in the denominator. And there are a couple other examples, but those are the big ones. And in this case, we're looking at zeros in the denominator. So what could possibly cause the denominator to equal zero? Let's go ahead and just rewrite our denominator equal to zero and see if we can solve for when that happens. We have, in this case, the denominator y plus 7 in parentheses times y squared minus 9. That's all equal to zero. Since in order to make something equal to zero, we can set either factor equal to zero, since they're being multiplied together, let's go ahead and do that. If we have y plus 7 equals zero over on one side, we'll subtract 7 from both sides, and y is going to be equal to negative 7. So y equals negative 7 would cause this function to be undefined, because it would cause the denominator, this term of the denominator, to be zero, which is going to, in turn, cause the entire denominator to go to zero. So y equals negative 7 is going to be a problem. On the other side, we have y squared minus 9 equals 0. If we add 9 to both sides, we have y squared equals 9. But since it's y squared and we want to solve for y, we have to take the square root of both sides. So in this case, it's going to be y equals plus or minus the square root of 9, because we're undoing a square, so we need to put the plus or minus out front, and we know that the square root of 9 is 3, so it's going to be plus or minus 3. So now we have three solutions that are all going to be a problem. y equals negative 7, y equals positive 3, y equals negative 3. And if you plug any of these into the original equation, you'll find that it causes the entire denominator to go to 0. So let's go ahead and write out when is the function undefined when y equals negative 7, negative 3, or 3. These are the three cases when it is undefined. Let's take another example here. When is this one undefined? We don't see any square roots or anything like that, but we do see the potential for zeros in the denominator. So once again, we set, up, set our entire denominator equal to 0. So r minus 3, parentheses, times r plus 17 equals 0. Because we're trying to solve for when is it going to blow up in the denominator. Since they're multiplied together, we know that we can split these two sides up here. We have an r minus 3 equals 0, which is just going to simply be r equals 3 as our uh, one of our problem areas. On the other side, r plus 17 equals 0. Subtract 17 from both sides, and r equals negative 17. So our two, uh, the two values of r that are going to cause this function to be undefined are r equals negative 17 or 3. Let's do one last example here. This function, same thing, doesn't seem to have any problem with roots or anything else, but we do have potential zeros in the denominator. So let's set that denominator equal to zero. We have w times w plus 5 equals zero. Now since either of these multiplied factors can be set equal to zero, let's go ahead and split it up. We have w equals zero or w plus 5 equals 0. With the w equals 0, it's already solved for us, because there's really nothing else we can do. We have our value of 0. Here we can subtract 5 from both sides, and w is going to equal negative 5. So our two values for this one that are going to cause the function to be undefined are w equals 0 or negative 5. What's interesting about this one in particular is that you, at first you might see this and say, oh, well, there's a w in the numerator and a w in the denominator, so they can cancel out. 
So really, that w equals 0 is not a problem. However, when you're talking about a function being undefined at a specific value, you cannot simply cancel it out because you need to think about popping values back into the original equation. Yes, it's true that at any other value of w, at 1, at 2, at negative 1700, they're going to cancel each other out. However, 0 divided by 0 does not cancel out. It's going to cause a problem. It's going to cause the denominator blow up. So at that particular value of w equals 0, you do need to say that the function is still undefined.